Hello again, and good morning to you. I hope that you had a really nice weekend. It was beautiful weather this weekend. So um, I'm, hope that you, I'm hoping that you got to take advantage of it. Welcome back. Uh, this is the first day of marking period three, first lesson in marking period three. Um, if you still have work to turn in, you're probably not on this lesson, so there's not much to say about that. But let's just say that this is a fresh start. We've got a pretty clear structure ahead of us. You watch the video, you do the lesson, type the spreadsheet, and then after um, a few lessons, we'll have an assessment, a quiz that we have to do. Just a reminder of the structure of learning that we're using for uh, learning spreadsheets. Um, so today's lesson is lesson three, um, editing basics. And I'm going to go through the process again of um, getting to Google Classroom. Here we are. See, lesson three is right here. Open that up. Okay. And you've got all of your resources here. You've got a rubric that you should check before turning in your spreadsheet. You have the document that has the textbook that we're using. And then you've got a blank worksheet workbook that I've created um, in Google Sheets for you to enter your information. Um, so I went ahead and opened the textbook and I'm going to drag it into the screen so we can all see it. Again, I like to drag it to the right side of the screen so that it kind of takes up a nice space and I can read it. And then on the other side of the screen, Let's see, we're in lesson three. Uh, I like to have my browser open where I'm going to be um, doing the sheets. So uh, I, you're going to be opening this up um, and typing into it. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one uh, real quick in Google Sheets. By the way, this is how you do it. New spreadsheet, new spreadsheet. Okay, and this would be the process that you would do if you didn't have one already created for you. Um, why is it taking so long? S Y S T S Y T Y C D. All right. Okay. So basically, you open it up. You've got S Y T Y C D opened up, um, and it is saying type the data as shown. In figure three, resize all columns so the data is displayed. Uh, before we do that, let's take a look at the skills that we're learning today. We are inserting and deleting rows. We are selecting cells using cut, using copy, and using paste. Many, m Most of you are pretty familiar with that. Um, in spreadsheets, it's a little bit different uh, sometimes, but um, hopefully those difference, differences won't be too distracting for you. All right. Um, here's the spreadsheet that we're using. We are typing in this information. Yes, you are typing that in. Um, data entry. Once again, I'm going to remind you data entry is, is, is part of most entry level jobs, uh, that are in an office of some kind. Um, just getting information and putting it into the spreadsheet. It is worth the practice to do that. So I'm going to take a little moment and uh, type in this information for you so that we can go ahead and check off uh, step three. So I'm going to pause and type in the information. Okay, so I've typed in the information and here you see it appears here. Um, as it appears here, uh, you want to kind of just double check, do a quick glance, and maybe just look for um, any misspellings, uh, notice that, notice the spell check. If a word is underlined as red, uh, it's probably misspelled unless it's, um, somebody's name that has a strange spelling. Um, notice in our figure here that, uh, the column A has actually been resized. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And remember from the last lesson, we can resize a column to the minimum length required for all of the information that's in there by just going between two columns, double clicking, 
and we've got um, it resized appropriately. All right, so that's our first step is entering the data. You've done that, awesome. All right, now we're gonna go through these steps. Copy and paste the following data to the following cells. Copy cell A3 to cell C13, C16, and C19. So A3 is appearing, okay? And we want to copy that to C13, 16, and 19. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk through the, the First, there are three ways to do this. Uh, one way is to go to edit and look for a copy. The second way is kind of shown to you here. Control C, press Control C. Okay, and then the third way is to right click and press copy. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and press copy. And notice that um, what has been copied is the cell. The cell has been copied. Um, so the highlighted cell uh, is has this little box around it, the strange little box around it. All right, and now I'm going to paste that into C13, C16, and C19. So C13, right click, paste. Okay, uh, notice that that selection went away, but um, it's still stored. Uh, that information is still stored. The word appearing is still stored. So I can right click again in 16, paste, and 19, paste, All right, okay. Um, and then the next one is A4 to C14 and C18. So I'm gonna go ahead and this time use my keyboard shortcuts because that's really what you should be using when you get really proficient is keyboard shortcuts. So Control C highlights it. And then I have C14 and C18, so Control V. Control V as in Victor, and then A5, Control C, C12, and C15, and 6, 10, and 17, and then 7. All right, so these are uh, apparently um, the uh, So You Think You Can Dance stars, a show I've never really watched, so I don't really know that much about. Maybe you have um, some of the details of their performance and what they're doing now. Okay, um, so great. So now it says, uh, so we've copied um, what they're doing now into this column here as kind of categories. It says insert a new row between rows 13 and 14. So rows 13 and 14. So 13 and 14, we want to create a blank row. Um, and the way that we do that is we click on it to highlight the row. And then we right click. And it's asking, do we want to insert a row above or below? So we're going to insert a row below. So now we have a row between what was 13 and 14. And everything, notice that everything shifted now. Cut and paste the data for Janine Mason into the new row after Joshua Allen. So Janine Mason, we're going to, says cut and paste the data for Janine Mason. Okay, so we're going to, the reason for that is these seasons are out of sequence. So we're going to actually put Janine where she should be which is right here. So we're going to cut and paste. There are several ways to do this. You could actually just drag all of this up, but we're gonna cut and paste. Uh, notice that you have to highlight all three. So I'm dragging my mouse across, I'm sorry, all four um, cells. And now I'm gonna press Control C. The box is around all four cells. It is still getting this even though it's not highlighted and control V, right? Now they're in order, right? Um, actually, it says, I made a mistake here. It says cut and paste the data. So I'm gonna press control Z and do that again. I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna select this. And instead of pressing 
uh, copy, I want to cut, which is control X. All right, so cut and paste. And guess what? It got rid of the information rather than copying it, uh, which is what we wanted in this case. So that's a useful thing is you can cut things and paste them and the original will disappear. All right. Um, now it says delete rows three and eight. There should only be one blank row between the title and the column headings. Now I could just go through here and delete this by pressing delete, but that's not what they want. What they want is one, one, and I'm pointing to it, one blank row uh, between the um, title and the column headings. So what we want to do is rather than do it that way, what we want to do is you want to highlight the rows all of the rows and notice that the row the entire row is selected and not just the cells so and and then here we're going to right click and you're going to delete those rows it's literally going to delete everything that was ever in those rows so delete okay and notice that by deleting them you've slid all of the information up okay um so it says there should only be one blank between the title and the column headings, which there is. That's very good. Okay. Uh, resize all columns so that all data is displayed. Well, we did that for A. Okay. But let's go ahead and do that for D because you can see that all of the information here is kind of bleeding into these other cells. So we're going to put our mouse between D and E and you can either drag it or double click it and it will automatically uh, make the column wider. We can also do the same thing here and make these a little smaller. These don't have to be so big, right? I don't know that it's asking you to do that. So that's okay if you don't do that step, but notice that you can make the columns larger for your information or smaller. All right. Um, and then it says carefully proofread your work for accuracy. Okay. I already know it's accurate because I did it. And then, um, the rest of that stuff you don't really have to work with because it's automatically saved and you're not printing yours out. So you're done after step 10. All right. Thank you for listening and paying attention. And I hope this, uh, goes quickly for you.